So now that you know how snow works, how skis work, and how wax interacts with all of these things, I'm going to tell you how you can improve the glide of your skis. The way we improve the glide of our skis is using those same principles that we used to produce grip in our classic skis with grip wax. We use the hardness of the wax to control the penetration of snow crystals into the base to vary the adhesive properties of the base. If we have very low adhesive properties, we increase the glide. And that's simply how we play with wax in order to change the characteristics of the glide zones of our skis. Harder wax reduces the penetration of snow crystals into the base of the, the skis. When we reduce the penetration of snow crystals into the base of the, the skis, we increase the glide. It's really that simple. We have lots of waxes available to us that allow us to change the hardness of the base of the skis. In fact, the only thing that changes with the different colors in the wax is actually the different hardness of the wax material itself. And remember, in order to make a ski glide well, we actually have to impregnate this material into the base of the skis, into those pores that act like a sponge on the base of the skis. In order to minimize the grip of the base of the skis, we want all the surface wax removed from the skis. Because remember, wax by itself is softer than polyethylene. It's only when we impregnate the wax into the pores of the base that we actually increase the glide of the skis. The turquoise or bluish colored wax is actually the hardest and it is used, generally speaking, in those conditions where the snow crystals have the greatest ability to penetrate into the base of the, of the skis. In other words, those cold, dry, fresh snow conditions where the snow crystals are the most clearly formed and have the hardest snow crystals. The medium color, in this case a purple, is used for those medium conditions where the snowflakes are not as hard as they are in very cold temperatures and not as well formed as they are when the snow crystals are fresh, hard, dry, and cold. The yellow, the softest wax, is used for those warmest temperatures. Those are the temperatures where the snow has the least ability to penetrate into the base of the skis. If we can increase the glide of the skis by simply reducing the penetration of snow crystals into the base, why don't we always use the hardest wax? If we always use the hardest wax, we would dramatically reduce that friction. But if we reduce the friction too low, we're going to reduce the production of those microscopic droplets. So using the hardest wax when in doubt, is always a better choice than using a wax that's too soft. However, it's not always the optimum choice. We actually want to create a little bit of friction, just enough friction to generate enough moisture in the snow as we're gliding, producing that friction and forming microscopic droplets of water, which are going to lubricate the base of the skis. So that's fundamentally how we alter the base of the skis in order to improve the glide. Now there are a number of other principles at work in addition to the hardness of the wax and its lubricating capabilities in order to produce water droplets under the base of the skis. We can also play with a very important characteristic in glide, and that is the structure of the base of the skis. The process of waxing synthetic base skis has a tendency to smooth those bases. When a base becomes too smooth, it creates suction. That suction can rob you of speed and glide. With a little bit of study, 
we quickly realize that we could in fact play with that structure to in fact match the snow crystal size. There are a number of tools that we use in order to impart structure into the base of the skis. Those tools range from metal brushes like this steel brush, this brass brush, and a specially designed rilling tool that imparts rills or small parallel channels into the base in order to eliminate suction. Now, metal brushes, for instance, this steel brush, is used to reduce suction caused by coarse-grained snow crystals. Those coarse-grained snow crystals occur in temperatures typically ranging from minus 15 and warmer. The brass brush we use for temperatures below minus 15. Those are the situations where we have very fine-grained snow crystals. And it's those fine-grained snow crystals that, believe it or not, can create suction even in very, very cold, fine-grained snow conditions. Then we have the extreme, the rilling tool. Rills are parallel channels that we actually press into the base in order to eliminate free running water. Now, free running water is quite different than the structure created by snow crystals themselves. Free running water has to be channeled out from underneath the base in order to eliminate the suction that it will create. So I'm going to actually press this pattern with the rilling tool into the base of the, of the ski. I'm going to do this only in the glide zone and I'm going to do it by pressing firmly onto the base as I roll that into the ski. And a couple of passes of the rilling tool are quite sufficient in order to, to press that pattern into the skis. They can equally be pulled out of the PTEX by simply taking a plastic scraper and flattening it out by running that scraper. Remember, polyethylene bases and skis are actually malleable and we can form rills into the skis over and over again without endangering the base of the skis. Using different additives in the wax can change its coefficient of friction. By adding fluorocarbons to the wax, we dramatically alter the way in which moisture in the snow responds to the wax in your bases. Fluorocarbons are the same types of materials used in Teflon. In fact, Teflon is a type of fluorocarbon material. By using these fluorocarbons, we can dramatically reduce the friction caused by the base rubbing in the snow. The greatest benefit of fluorocarbon-based waxes is derived in very high humidity where moisture is going to be the main culprit for robbing you of glide. Another benefit of fluorocarbons is in old and dirty snow. Just as stuff doesn't stick to a Teflon-coated frying pan, dirt doesn't stick to your bases. So when the snow conditions have very high humidity, old or dirty snow, that's when you're going to benefit the most from fluorocarbon-based waxes. When you're working hard, you're skiing great distances, those fractions of a second are going to be of great benefit. That's when you're going to make use of these high-performance techniques.